Here's a little video to help anyone who's fitting a cab divider curtain that they've purchased from Shaw Vans for a VW T5 or that anything like that type of thing. So you get a kit, the kit comes supplied with this curtain rail here. The curtains and there's little plastic ends in there and some screws and some press stud fittings. The first thing you need to do is you'll get this curtain reel like this here and it's far too long and it's bent in a funny way that has no resemblance to what it needs to be whatsoever. So just forget about that. The first thing you need to do is measure from here to here on the other side so get that measurement from right inside of there to the other side the same on the other side and then you need to take 20 millimeters off that size for the little plastic ends because they're 10 millimeters each so you need to take 20 millimeters off your measurement and then you're gonna need to cut that curtain reel so that's the bit that I cut off and I use the grinder with a cutting disc you can use a little hacksaw or it's, it's just aluminium so it's quite easy to cut so you cut that to size and then you try and bend it roughly to shape now on mine I have the original sort of trim on there I took that, I pulled that off, I slid it off I slid it, you can slide it off if you bend it down you can slide it off all the way off and then I mark me holes where I wanted me holes and the hole again you're going to have to drill new holes in this curtain rail to get the screws in because the holes are just not really where you want them to be either so you're going to do that you're going to I did a little trial fit a couple of screws to see how it was going to go see if I got me hole sizes right and stuff for the screws so you need to get the right size hole, you don't want a hole too big for your screws you don't want it too small, it's going to be too hard to get the screws in because there's a, a supporting member under there, it needs to go into there otherwise you're going to drill it and through your roof, you're going to have screws sticking out your roof you want it to go into the supporting member so I've just, and it's on and then sorry, let's go back a bit so I did that and then I put the trim back on so I slid it in it's a bit of a bit fiddly because if you pull the little plastic clips out I think they'll be broken and you'll have to buy more so I, I slid it back on a clip at a time it's a bit a bit of a faff be better with two people but you can manage it you've got to give it a good shove and then I fitted it screwed it in the holes I'd already drilled no, go back, reverse, put the curtains in first. So put your slide your curtains in to the rail on both sides, then put your end caps on, and then screw it in place. And then finally, you need to put these little on this T5, it just goes into the plastic. No need to drill, I just marked it and screwed it in with a with a hand screwdriver again with these screws I just did it with a hand screwdriver not with a drill so you've got more control otherwise these screws are quite sort of feeble really it's easy to wreck them so just do it by hand you get a better feel for it and then there you go lovely Shaw Vans cab divider curtains thank you all very much goodbye